Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. As you can see, the foot's in place here. It's time to get started on leveling up the main body of the mill. Uh, I gotta get it level and uh, straight so I can figure out kind of where these pieces need to be on the sides because I gotta get them uh, leveled and straight also before I put the table on. So I cleaned off section away here and got my two precision levels out. Uh, this one here is the one I've had for a while. That's what I use on the Monarch. Steve Summers just got one just like this over on his channel. Uh, it looks exactly the same model as this one. I'm not sure if his is the same length as this. I think this is a, this one must be a foot, but it's a one and 10. Yeah, it's not as big as my foot, it's gotta be a foot. And uh, I put this on here, I'm gonna show you how this, uh, how close this wound up. I'm really surprised, I haven't messed with any of the leveling. I just came over here and set these levels on it and uh, took a look at them and I was like, hmm, I really wouldn't have thought it would have come out like that, that uh, you know, I just guesstimated on these pucks. I kind of knew that it was a little bit higher in the back than the front, and I sized them all up. You may have seen the last video of me sitting them on this table and matching them for height and uh, kind of getting a trend going of uh, higher in the back and low in the front, but let's, uh, let's see how it wound up here. And you know, they're all within like a quarter inch of each other on thickness anyway, or less, so uh, I must have done all right on this concrete job. Let's check it out. So there it is. <laughs> that was just walking up and putting the level on it. That's how close it is. Uh, I haven't calibrated this level, spun it in for end to see what it is. Accuracy wise, it's just right out of the box as I've used it in the past. So let me flip it around here and we'll see how close it is still. But basically we're one line high on that end. Like it's not off much on the calibration. It's pretty close. Uh, it's half thousandths of line, so that's uh, going to be like two tenths, probably, in that 10 inches. That's pretty good for eyeball. <laughs> not some will tell you that that was the case. That's just the way it worked out. Now let's check the cross over here on the big level. As you might can tell there, it's pretty close too. It's on the bubble anyway, but it's uh, probably, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, that'd be a thou. Yeah, it's gotta be two thou out probably or more. So uh, let me see about bringing this side up a little and see what happens. Well, this is one of those cases where projects breed projects. I've been full of trying to get this mill level and it felt like I've been chasing my tail, which is not uncommon with a precision level like this. 
it's three tenths per division on the scale. So uh, that's pretty tight tolerance. I don't normally even work in tenths myself. Usually uh, a thousandth is, or half thousandths is about as low as I go. My other level here, my El Cheapo, which is a half thousandths, is doing quite nice. However, it can't span this gap and I don't have any uh, precision parallels to use across the gap to use with the level to uh, perform the same task as this big level. So this is what I wanted to use because that's exactly what this is designed for is for setting up these big boring mills. But since I've got a problem with this vial, we're gonna have to do something different. Uh, I think Thank to Robin Renzetti, I found a company that m makes this vial, or made this vial, or whatever, it looks just like it. So I'm gonna have to try and get a hold of one of those and see if I can get this thing fixed. Because right now, it's uh, non-repeatable, so it's bad enough it was inaccurate, but since it won't repeat, it's pretty much totally useless because you don't know which way to go because it's moving all the time. So let me show you what I got going on here and. Uh, if anybody runs into this in the future with a level, perhaps you uh, can at least be suspicious and not waste a bunch of time trying to figure out what's going on. You can verify this and do this check and see if your level's a piece of junk. So let me show you what's going on. So currently right now I'm showing uh, three lines past center, which would be 15 arc seconds showing it's high on that end, but if I pick up this end and sit it right back down, I'm not touching it. Now I'm showing it's two arc seconds this way. So it's moved depending on how you look at it. Well, Really on that end of the bubble, it's moved uh, three divisions, so 15 arc seconds off. It's sitting in the exact same spot. All I did was change which end I picked up. And let's try it again. Let's pick it up, sit it back down. See what it reads this time. Yep, now it's going back the other way, about 15. But if I pick it up and get the bubble come this way, Sit back down, see if it stay. Now look at that, now I got two this way. Hmm. Let's see, I bet I can make it even more. Hold up, let it creep this way, sit down. Now it still went back to two. So I'm not gonna move the level, I'm just gonna pick it up and sit right back down. All right, I'm gonna pick it up this other end. Sit it back down. See the problem? I'm not touching it. Level sitting in the exact same spot. But that right there is a problem. Because it's moving <laughs> way too much for me to be able to level this thing because there's no consistency. Let's move it back and about get it come this way now. Yep, see, same spot, different reading. That will drive you crazy. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little bit about uh, learning to check your equipment and Hopefully I'll be able to get this uh, level straightened out in the next couple days where I can get back on trying to get this mill leveled up so that I can 
work on these feet, getting them leveled up and square to this, and then I can put the table on. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you later.